Hey lightweights and welcome back to some more Undead Nightmare. Um, last video we finally made it down to Mexico. So this video I'm going to pick up with the first main mission down there. Hopefully we continue to find some more horses. I got the war horse last time. Um, other than that I'll probably just clear some more villages down here. I'm definitely going to go back up to Gaptooth Ridge to try to get a retcher for the one uh, mission with the movie guy. I forget his name now. <laughs> uh, but I will get a retro for him. I really want to try to work on some of the challenges, so maybe I'll do those along the way. I'm not really sure. don't really have a game plan other than continuing on with the game. <laughs> um, I'm having a lot of fun so far. Uh, the game is really enjoyable. It's really fun. It's really just a nice change of pace from the somber mood of the ending of Red Dead and Red Dead 2. So it's just really nice to be in a fun, lighthearted, zombie-filled world. <laughs> I hope that you're enjoying the playthrough. If you are and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. All right, you guys, here we go. Shit, I did not mean to use that gun. Did I kill him? Fuck, I killed him too. <laughs> Sorry, on. dude. You just got a blunderbuss to the face. Oopsies. It's a good thing we're going to see Sister Calderon. <laughs> You leave Sister Calderon alone! Oh! Hell yes! You okay, sister? Well, I'm alive, senor. Although, come to think of it, I just committed a mortal sin. Claim self-defense. Always works for me. <laughs> yes, well, I fear my judges may be a little more stringent than yours. Uh, but I appreciate the advice. Unfortunately, many of my nuns are not so resourceful as you or I. Their innocence will kill them, which is truly a terrifying reality. I would not know. I think maybe you would. But let us leave the psychotherapy and focus on more pressing matters. They are locked in the church, while hordes of, of, of these half-witted demons are, are trying to get to them. It'd be my pleasure. You're a true Samaritan, sir. You know, they say the devil has all the best tunes. It may be so, but it seems he also has the most half-witted friends. <laughs> so you know Bill Williamson, then? Excuse me? Just a little joke. I'll do as best as I can to save the nuns. <laughs> that was not that funny, but it really was. Whew. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> what is going on? Um. 
Shit. Jump, jump, jump. Oh. 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 Ah. <laughs> jump, get up. Fuck you. How could he not get up there? That's so dumb. Okay, my hair is freaking and driving me insane. I'm just gonna tuck it back there. Who wants it next? I'm just gorgeous right now, you guys. Gorgeous. Come here. Oops. Don't bust, huh? What is going on? <laughs> I fucking love it so much. Oh, I'm sorry, sister. This floater. Oh. Hey. Hey. Please just jump, what are you doing? So bad there right now, you guys. Slow and steady. There you 
I just rang the bell. That's really cool. Sean! Shoot them! Oh, okay, you're dead. You're not dead! Why won't it shoot? It literally won't shoot these ladies. Alright, sister, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna steal your ears. <laughs> you best be dead, mister. Okay, yep, that makes sense. Let me take your ears for my blunderbuss. Time for my pound of flesh. We must be upstairs. Okay, I don't know what I'm trying to jump on right now. Just... <sighs> Oh good, I'm on fire. What are we taking from you? More Try ears? My patient. Why can't I get body parts? What the heck? Okay, she's doing a split. Alright, let's go get some ammo. I can't tell if that's... I think that's inside. It was not. It's fine. We figured it out. I don't know where these other ones are. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, it's hiding over here. <sighs> Just what I needed. All right, so let's go. No, I left a chest over there. It's fine. Please, tell me. Sister, I've done as you asked. Bless you. But it's not sister. It's Mother Superior. Mother Superior Calderon. Our bishop was a stickler for regulations. <laughs> Until he got sick last week and ate half of the cathedral choir boys. I'm sorry. I only mention it because my girls are laughing at you calling me sister. What do you think is causing all this? Hmm. Déjame ver. Mexico is an old country. Many faiths have lived and died here. Evil spirits have flourished. I have no idea what is afflicting the people here, but I know it is a sickness of the soul. Something supernatural, maybe. Certainly nothing rational. Perhaps if you were to get me alive one of these creatures, we could try a couple of experiments. Certainly. Get me. You're gonna a perform new an exorcism? One who was recently human. I want to work with a subject who has only recently turned. I'll see what I can find for you. Gracias, señor. <laughs> Shh. Guy in sing. 
No puedo creer cómo se portan. I don't know what she said. I want to know. Translation, please. She's magic. Whoa, she's magic. I've lost my damn mind. I'm glad they acknowledged it. Okay. Let's go to Agave VA. Maybe we'll find one on the way. Come on! Oh, we're stuck on a rock. Woo! Is that what you want? This should calm me down. Okay, can I hot tie you or how does that work exactly? You smell like death. Well, I mean, he he is dead, John. So, you know, not surprising. Careful how you carry him; he's gonna bite you. Time to go. Don't catch on fire. Okay, back here. Force me, box me. Yes, I do need my directional to get back because I get turned around and I don't want to waste time. Force, stop it. Careful, John. Superior, I think I have a test case for you. Senor Marston, you're a true pilgrim. That I ain't. Hmm. Now let's see. <laughs> well, it certainly isn't the flu. Their eyes are so devoid of love, of, of anything. <laughs> oh, lively one I see. Here. What is that? Holy one. <laughs> I think we may have something. It seems to be working. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. But it seems as if you were nearly saved. Spiritual infections are confusing things, Senor Marston. None of us can hope to understand them properly. But he came back for a minute. I bless the water, but perhaps my faith is not that strong. I have to do more thinking, but I need time. Maybe Every we just day need more, water. more of my people fall as the dead rise in Sepulcro. Then perhaps it's time I put them to rest. Take the holy water. Maybe it will be a calming balm for the restless departed. Thank you. No, thank you. You are a blessing in an unusual form. Cleanse the graveyard. Holy water is a thrown weapon that will set undead ablaze. Fuck, that's cool! Come on. Does that count for the challenge or does it have to be a regular fire? Why wasn't it collecting body parts? That's weird. Oh shit, there's a lot of them here. I 
can already tell this place is probably going to be tricky because of all the little walls. <laughs> going to have to be careful with my escape routes. How did he do that? Until I wasn't. Okay, I needed to use my holy water. I kind of forgot about it already. to just like shoot them under a jaw under the jaw is more so like him hitting them with his gun oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck all right let's um let's use a little bit of this ready to burn A lot of them. Did I miss a coffin? Or is it just because there's so damn many of them? 
Alright, let's just make sure I didn't miss a carpet. Oh, I definitely didn't. Okay. Throw it, John! Okay, so the question is... Oh god. Will it catch us on fire? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Got a retro somewhere. <laughs> oh, she hit him! <laughs> Oh god, run. Jesus. How are you alive? You're burning. Sit down. Cool that we saw to Santa again. Now, this is really low. Come on! Whole world <laughs> Climbing on the chicken coop. Damn, lots of retchers here. Spitters? Retchers? What are they?
that one was easy in comparison to Sepulchro. I'll be having that. Change outfits. Nice. Perfect. Do you think I like shooting women? You filthy whoremongering wretch. Gracias, señora, que estaba viendo a mi tía, que tal vez ya desculpada. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Go on. Go on, get it. Andale, gracias. Hello, Mr. Ricketts. Hello, John. I see you're enjoying another vacation in our little resort. Something like that. Well, we got sunshine, sand, and a plague that makes people eat each other. <laughs> Come to think of it, it must feel just like America to you. What is going on? I thought things were calmer in Mexico. This is calm. What's a little light cannibalism among friends? Excuse me. So, how have you been? Good. Well, apart from my wife and son being tied up and trying to rip my soul clean out of my body, <laughs> and the entire earth turning into hell. Good. Real good. You know, John, I've lived a long life. I've seen this land when it was just wilderness and scrub. I've seen missionaries nailed to crosses by shaman and burn into just the cinders of their misguided devotion. I've seen slaves get set free and return to a bondage even more confusing than the one they left behind. I've seen diseases wipe out entire communities in a weekend. I've seen bad men make their own Valhalla out in the bush, with harems of maidens and the hunting of men as a sport. I've seen men struggle with principles and morals and the very meaning of existence. I've killed all that can be killed. But I've never, in all my natural-born days, seen anything quite like this. Nor me, sir. Now, if uh, we could only get something that uh, would attract these blighters, we could kill them faster and, and maybe return this land to its uh, natural state. Some kind of bait? Exactly. I think I might know how. And more dynamite. I'm running pretty low. Let me see what I can do. Thank you, John. And take care. Ooh, look at the painting on that wall. Wait, can we go back there? That's really cool. All right, so what are we doing? What was that? Journal. Um. <clears throat> you found that in Ricketts and Casa Madrugada. He offered to help you defend yourself against the undead horde to be supplying with dynamite and undead bait. Okay. How do I... Oh, you had to build it? Oh. Oh. Shit. There's no 
secure. Not enough wild fever for you. Oh, fuck. For real. Troll of Springs and Great Plains. How much do I need of that? Hmm. I don't know how much I need. Oh. Oh god. Shit. Okay. 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 Bad start. Bad start. And there was a cougar running around. <laughs> Alright, I only need one retcher, so I'm gonna shoot you in the face. I'm gonna get you. Stop right there, you fiend! Quit spitting! Okay, and there's a big one over there. So we're gonna take care of you. Good. Pick you up. That was easier than anticipated. You got two choices. Relax. <laughs> He's screaming. Right. We're out of here. Okay, where is that other one? Fuck off. me out here and I'd like to keep it that way so I rarely venture out I've got my experiments here to keep me happy I'm running low on research subjects so I'll gladly resupply it if you can get me some monsters to experiment on anything to find a cure I guess okay I need none dead though Of course, I had to get fucking mauled by a cougar. Why wouldn't that happen? Oh, there's one. I knew it was there too, but... I naively thought, okay, John, hello, that's your butt. I naively thought that it was gone. I saw it run away, so I thought it ran away. <sighs> I played how many Red Dead games, and I didn't know better. Now you're coming with me. Oh my god, pick him up! Hope this helps your research, mister. Wow! You really hit the mother load, I see! I can learn a lot from these thingamabobs, I'm sure. Okay, great. 
All right, now I need a retro. Come on, boss. Come on. Okay, that's the retcher. Don't kill that one. Now maybe you'll stay calm. Shit. Up tie? What? What the fuck? Jesus. This time, please. Ma, you're heavier than you look. Don't annoy me, John. I don't think he understands you. I guess maybe I could be wrong. What do I know? I don't know shit about zombies. Go. Fucking wolves. Stay away. Ah, oh, Mr. Boston! I see art has got the better of you. Stupidity got the better of me, but <laughs> I felt I should help an old friend. I appreciate that, sir. Are you ready to watch the creation of magic? If you say so. Um, of course he. Let's put the star into his purse. Right over here. You can put him down here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Don't listen to me, friends. Movie making history, my friends. Good jam. That's a bad plan, dude. There we are. Ready, ready, I see you. You're going to be stars. Do something interesting now. Ah! And action! Zombies, go! Oh, your hands are eat human flesh. Close to flesh, right? That's my close. Oh! Ah! Help, We're just going to let them... Oh my god. <laughs> Pretty good. Enough of your slippery nonsense. Okay. I mean, we had to know it was going to end that way, but still. All right, we're ready for Landon Ricketts. Mr. Ricketts. Hello, sir. How have you been? As you imagine. Good. Did you get the dynamite? Yes. Mm. And the bait. Huh. Let's see. Effective. Here. 
Let's work with that for a second. Ah, uh, this uh, calls for a soft touch. Not the brutish hands of a man of war, but the delicate touch of an artist. Some uh, use oils, and some a chisel and a block of marble. For me, sir, it uh, was always either high explosives or the trigger of a fine iron. But it's much the same. Sometimes your humility overwhelms me, Ricketts. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, Mr. Marston. Now, if you'd have seen me when I was a young man, if you'd have seen me when I was so fast, you couldn't see me. Well, then you'd know this is humility. <laughs> the truth is, well, the truth is long dead. Now we got only memories. Memories and a great swath of demonic mutants, of course. <laughs> Have you heard anything? I heard a man in Chicago was writing a biography of me. And can you believe it? An artist in Pittsburgh painted my portrait. I mean, the demonic hordes. Not your own unending glory. No. Oh. <laughs> that. Nothing too interesting. Someone said that there's some really big problems near Escalera. But I can't concern myself too much with that. This is my home now. This, and this up here. Take care of yourself. I will. I don't think getting savaged by some brainless corpse would do too much justice to your myth. <laughs> yeah, I think you're teasing me, Mr. Marston. <laughs> but I thank you. And I appreciate your concern nonetheless. <laughs> Boom bait. I like the sound of that. All right, let's, um, Go clear this town. This is really crazy. Horse, where are you? Come on. Fuck. Mother of mercy! God damn it! Jesus! <sighs> Alright, let's try out this boom bait. And boom. Yes, that's awesome. Who's next? I'm feeling this guy right here. Stop doing that. I'm just trying to talk to the survivor. That's all. in here. But I guess we don't need to. <gasps> oh, he's coming for me. All right. Get a couple
couple of you this time. skill to whiff so badly with a shotgun. <laughs> nice. Needed those fire bottles. Uh oh. Speaking of, just caught my light on fire. Mother Superior. Hola. Maybe I should put my, my gun away. There we go. Ay, que bueno. Senor Marston, how wonderful to see you alive. I think I've cleared Sepulcro. You're a brave servant of righteousness. I've been called many things in my time, but never that. <laughs> Who is that girl, by the way? She? I don't know. She said she is that was the one that was following us before? Escalera. I'm sure I keep seeing her. Or yeah. someone like her. Maybe. But it is a common enough look. Seemed like a nice girl. She told me something interesting. What's that? She blamed this terrible curse on our soon-to-be president, Abraham Reyes. Perhaps you have heard of him. Mm -hmm. Heard of him? I know him well. I hope that vain, ambitious, and repugnant parasite is no friend of yours. Not exactly. I didn't think he was that bad. And who am I to judge? Forgive me. I have just heard many unpleasant stories and met too many pregnant and abandoned girls. Of course. But what has he done? She claimed he had angered an ancient goddess, disturbed a crypt and a temple in her honor. <laughs> I mean, as I say it, it sounds like heresy, like the idiotic delusions of a cursed people. But in a land such as this, I have learned to be less dogmatic than maybe I have been instructed. I am sure it is just folly. Perhaps. Well, maybe it's time I go pay El President a visit anyway. I shall pray for you. Someone certainly needs to. <laughs> Goodbye, Mother Superior. I miss you. Dios, mijo. So, in Red Dead. Do, where, what? What is happening? No, you, no, you don't. This is madness. No, you do not. <gasps> where is my war horde? Or my what? What? What is happening? Where is my horse? in a straight line. Why won't it steer right? What the hell? What is happening?
I swear this is my horse. This is not me. Okay, three things. Thing one, that song was really cool. Thing two, this horse is drunk. What, what, what is happening? Where is my, my horse is on fire? What, why is this, why can't I steer this horse? This horse keeps swerving around. I'm literally pushing straight on the directional and it's turning into rivers and trying to murder me. Thing three, what I started to say before the song started playing <laughs> is that in my Red Dead playthrough, in one of the last missions with Reyes, I made a comment about how something like, I wonder if he can be much worse than the current president or something like that. And a lot of people thought I was talking about the president of the United States when in fact I was talking about the president of Mexico in the game. <laughs> so if you are watching this and you are one of those people, first of all, oy vey. Second of all, I was talking about the in-game Mexican president before Reyes. Not Donald Trump. I do not talk politics oh, on this channel. That is not what this channel is for. Anyways, getting off my soapbox now. Senora, donde, donde is Abraham Reyes? Always did have a way with the ladies. <laughs> John. It's okay. He's dead. Thank you, senor. You'll be okay. I'm glad you think so. But I fear I won't. None of us will. We are all doomed. Because of him. Him? He wasn't a great guy, but I'm afraid you're giving him a little too much credit, my dear. Haven't I seen you before? No. He, he, he caused this with his greed and his lust for power. He heard an ancient myth and tested it. It caused all of these terrible things. His vanity overwhelmed us all. What the hell are you talking about? Where have I seen you? A me? Oh, I have a common enough face. I'm from here. He disturbed the royal burial grounds that lie underneath the town. He heard there was a mask hidden there that would make him invincible. 
I've heard this blamed on Mexicans, Jewish people, freed slaves, the federal government, immigrants, the bad weather. Now this. What's wrong with people? It's true. Look in that chest. He has the a briefcase? sacred mask. That is where this plague came from. Him and his awful lust for power. Oh shit. Where did you say the crypt was? Near the bullfighting ring. Behind the via. Well, I guess it's worth a shot. Maybe we keep the mask in the briefcase. <laughs> Return the mask to where it belongs. Wait here. It's too dangerous. Who is this chick? I know. I sure hope you're Ooh. right. Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, my gold gun is gone. What the fuck is going on? This is getting ugly. I just <laughs> If we do not return the mask soon, it will be too late. What? Okay. Gold gun gone. Fire horse gone. Bye. The animals have also suffered. The thread that connects us all has been desecrated. Who is this chick? Is she the goddess of the tomb that was disturbed? Looks nice in here. A presidential palace should never have been built above a sacred place. Harmony is fragile. The greatest catastrophes occur when new men try to play God. Sorry about that. Whoa, his eyes are glowing red. So are his. Oops, that's his shoulder. That's not gonna do anything, is it? Damn. Look at their eyes. The fire of their discontent burns brightly. Ooh, they're nasty. Strange girl. Okay, this is a dream. This has to be it. We must confront the dark corridor of our conscience. Fuck. Many of these Jeez. died in a great battle on this very self. No wonder they don't seem to like me. Think of your family. You must not give up now. This is as much a fight against yourself. Um, how does she know about her family? I have so many questions.
Let's not, let's not go with them. Just, we don't need to do that. How did I not shoot you in the head? For real? Got him that time. Don't look like anything nice. Did we make it? We discover who we are when we least expect it. Okay, that's bullshit. I got him. Using this. You have come. Finish what you started. Oh. <gasps> okay. Are we there yet? talking about this is literally the story jack was reading us the mask must be returned to its rightful owner Reyes, you got some hot <laughs> oh he was in his boxers poor thing Heaven's better the second time around. Okay, we're stuck. Nope, that did not work. I like that it makes the room a little bit brighter when we have to die on. Like that. They don't want to go back to being dead. You will 
be returned to rest. Turn the mask. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. How do you know? My name is Ayotioto. Ayotioto. I knew it! A horse is waiting for you. You should return home. Okay, please just have it be my fire horse and not that drunk horse outside. I hope that I can still do shit when the story is done, because I've got a lot to do still. Whenever trouble starts, I can pretty much guarantee you'll ride off into the sunset. You feeling better? Yes. I mean, once that boy stopped trying to bite me, everything felt much better. Sorry, <laughs> really. Jack? Uh, me? Uh, well, I only felt better once that mad look left your eye. Please, Dad, don't leave me here alone with that woman again. Uh, excuse me? I'll try not to, son. Uh, I've heard that before. Uh. Well, let me fix us something to eat. Please don't. We've had enough dramatics for one day. Spray by his wife and son. With a flask of water, he seemed to treasure. They did not know what special power and I comes back to this earth with the body of an undead wretch, but the soul of a man. Excuse you. But the soul of a man. Help put him to rest by finishing his work on earth. You've broken a horse of the apocalypse. Death. Ooh. Sorry. Phone call. Spam. All right. Cool. So, all right, sweet. Use a single explosion of a retro to kill two other undead. Hmm. All right, that's awesome. So I think I'll stop for today then. All right, guys, I am going to stop there. Um, so the the game that I originally had, the disc version, 
um, was a copy that I got from Mr. Light, and it was Zombie Marston on the cover. Um, I was really confused by that throughout the entire game, so it makes so much more sense now. Um, I, Mr. Light was good because he has obviously played all of these games before, and he's really good about not giving spoilers, so to kind of lead me astray, he told me that it was just because it was an undead game, so they made Marston an undead on the cover, even though his character is not, and I just believe that just because. So <laughs> um, I'm glad that he did that because this is a really cool ending. I'm glad that we see him as a zombie at the end. Our horse looks like it's going to be really cool. Um, I've done all the main stuff, but I do think I'm going to do one more video where I just clear out the final towns. Maybe I'm going to try to find the horses and the El Chupacabra. Um, I, I don't really know what I'll do, but I want to play a little bit as Zombie John. So even if it's not a full length video, I'll try to release something uh, that we can have so we can play as Zombie John. Uh, and then we'll just kind of play it by ear. And then I'll give my final thoughts after that video. But the story was really cool. Leave it to, St leave it to Seth to steal the mask. Uh, I kind of wish we saw Dutch again. That would have been really awesome. Obviously, I wish we could have seen Arthur, but this game was created first, so that wouldn't have made sense. But it would be really, really cool if they created a Red Dead Redemption 2 version of Undead Nightmare. Um, I know it might be difficult in terms of like how the stories would mesh together, but who cares? It could be like a non-canon story just like this was, um, so that it makes sense. I just, I would love that. I'm sure all of you would love that as well. Um, but I am really excited to play as Zombie John. I know it's going to be the same thing essentially, but it will be cool to run around as a zombie. Uh, I hope that you are enjoying the playthrough. I know it's basically done. I hope that you enjoyed the main story as much as I did. Uh, if you did and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next and final video for Undead Nightmare. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.